Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I thought I would show you the new bedding that we received. We received it about a month ago now, and it's been a game changer to have three different sets of bedding. We have a Super King size bed. I have a video here on this channel showing you the Simba sleep mattress that we received a few years ago now. I'll have it linked for you right here in the cards. And it has been a struggle to find nice bedding for such a big bed. And we really have kind of refined what we like in the home. I, I actually read this book. I don't think it's down here. It's by Hill House Vintage, but it's just a book called, uh, well, I can't remember what it's called, but it's by Hill, Hill House Vintage. And one of the ways that she describes her style is elegantly knackered. Now, if I could have a house that was marble and, you know, fancy dancy, sure, I would have that, but that's not what I have. And so we've kind of realized that we like a little bit more classic decor in the house, but in a realistic way. I think nothing looks cheaper than when you are trying to make something look really fancy, but you don't live in a fancy place. I don't know, I think you, you have to take the original fixtures and type of house or type of arrangement into effect, if that makes sense. Sorry guys, I know my lighting is all over the place, but it's starting to rain. <laughs> But yeah, I think I see sometimes some people say they have a really old house, but then they're trying to make it look modern. I think it just ends up looking cheap. Or if they've got a modern house, but they're trying to make it look cottage core, it just, it doesn't end up working. So for us, we realized, okay, the look and feel of this house, I think it might be best to kind of go with kind of a little bit more of a traditional vibe, a little kind of farmhousey type vibe and just really work off of the original fixtures of the house, if that makes sense. And because we've kind of analyzed and assessed that having a little bit more of a classic style in this home not only fits our personal branding, but the type of house that we're in, it's allowing us to understand what type of bedding and what type of towels and what type of like things in the home would work. Does that make sense? Who thinks of bedding this much? I do. Maybe if you're a homemaker, you do too. <laughs> but. The bedding that we picked up, it's got pheasants on it and I think it's super cute and I think it kind of just really ties in with some of the art that we have in the house and the way that we have been styling things at home. I don't think I mentioned this, but in that Hill House Vintage book that I read, the way that she describes her style is elegantly knackered and I think that's the approach that we're taking to the house as well. So let me show you the new bedding that we received from Sophie Alport and then we'll come back and have a chat. It's really cute, right? 
I think so. Uh, I'm on the hunt for bedding that is like William Morris like style. Do you know the style? I only just learned the name, but I think it's like quite cool. I think if you are wanting to go quite bare on your walls and you don't want wallpaper, having something that is a little bit busier for the bed is really nice. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. The next thing that I thought we could talk about is Organico. Organico sent us some products to try and at the time of me filming this, I'll be lying to you if I didn't admit that it's Christmas time, but I don't think these videos are gonna go out until January. But this Christmas, you may have seen in some of our Christmas themed videos, you will see that we have a lot of like cheese and meat boards and stuff. And I love having picky foods like that during the holidays. But Paul and I are looking at incorporating more organic foods into our diet. We both have a few health concerns recently and with that we're trying to have more high quality foods. And I also learned on TikTok recently that when you see pasta that is quite yellow, that is like an indication of it not being high grade pasta. But when you see this Organico pasta, it is like pale. It is like beige. <laughs> and I was like, dang. It is true. Some of the things that you learn on TikTok, it is, it's true. So I'm gonna be making a few meals with the products that they sent over from Organico and I will show you what they are when we make them. I think I'm gonna make the risotto today. risotto on which oh my gosh if you ever move to the other side of the world from North America to the side of the world and you say risotto just know you will be slaughtered every time you say it um, I we didn't have anything ready for Paul to take to lunch take for lunch so I'm just making this and then running it over to his work I unfortunately left the tripod in his car so you're balanced on a a, a little you know canister of sugar at the moment uh, but so far this looks amazing I didn't have any I didn't have any white wine so that's what the recipe called for that was one of the main things they asked to put in the, in the risotto it was butter white wine and water and I felt like it was really gonna change the taste if I don't add something in there but one of the things I love about Google is you can look up like what is a white wine substitute for um, risotto and they said chicken stock and lime. So I added in some chicken uh, like bouillons 
and then some lime. It didn't say how much, so I just put a whole lime in there and hopefully it tastes good. We do still have some of the Organico pasta. Uh, I think I'm gonna make that for dinner tonight. We are headed to another festive light trail. It is crazy cold, it is crazy windy. I think there's actually a storm right now at the time of me filming this. Uh, so I probably will be quite bundled up, but I think it's gonna be nice to have something really warm and filling before we go on the walk, which I think I'll show you in another video if you haven't seen it already. But yeah, one of the other things that I may have mentioned this already, maybe I didn't, is did you know like the lighter the pasta, the more high quality it is. I heard it in a TikTok and now I've noticed whenever I'm sent or buy organic pasta, it's a way lighter color than what you would buy at the store. So I'm really excited to try this out. Last night we had some of the crackers and olives that they sent over and that was really nice. During the Christmas like period, I think that's definitely going to be a tradition for us where we continue to do this where we just have kind of picky bits and picky foods unless we're either dining out or unless we uh, are having people over but I just think it's just such a nice time to like sit and talk about your day and just kind of yeah have little picky bit foods like not like hors d'oeuvres but like cheeses and crackers and olives and sun-dried tomatoes things like that anyways this is almost done, so I'm going to go quickly put my makeup on and then run this over to Paul. <laughs> 